Oh. I think mom pulled me down. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Sophie has her new riding breeches on I bought for her, and they're a little tight. And <laughs> so she's trying to work those in. I told her. They fit fine. She's just not used to them being like that. I just well, wanted to. Find out. Yeah, you gotta stretch your clothes out. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video where we have a lot to do. We woke up late. I woke up late. I'm always the first one awake in our house every single day. I am awake at like five o'clock, five thirty. I never no, sleep in. No, I'm always awake before him. I'm laying there on my phone, do 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 do, listening no, to him snore. I'm so, always the third person awake. Out of four, I'm the third. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, me, Sam, Sophie, Gabby. That's how it works in our family. Anyways, so last night when Sam got up, this morning when Sam got up to go to work, it was super early. Somehow I fell back asleep. That's never happened. <laughs> never. So Okay, it has happened before, but when it does happen, whenever I sleep in, I always dream. I always dream. I always dream things like this. So I was... Ooh. So I was at a New Year's Eve party at Fiona's house with the girls and there were a bunch of people there and we were having fun and all of a sudden Gabby said, oh, I want Kaylee here and I was like, oh my god, me too and why is there so much hay outside still? There's hay outside still. That was so weird. So anyway, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, we need Kaylee here. And I said, Fiona, I have to go get Kaylee. And so Gabby drove us into town. Gabby drove us. And we picked up Kaylee. And then somebody said, ah, Gabby's not allowed to drive. And they took away my car and said, Gabby's not allowed to drive. I do not know what that means. <laughs> I do not know the sim symbolism Maybe the of that. Crashes. No. So then we walked to a store. And I was like trying to get service on my phone to phone Fiona and say, Fiona, we can't get back. We can't get back. Somebody has to come and get us. And then all these mishaps happen, and I couldn't get where I needed to be. And I always dream that whenever I sleep in, it's like I'm going to be late for something or I can't get where I need to be. And it's God saying, Get your lazy butt out of bed. Mom. Just wait. Look at this. I see hearts everywhere I go. Do you guys see it? I believe that's a message from heaven. Tell me about your dream. Um, but we went and did this challenge thingy where um, it was a barrel racing challenge and you had to tame a wild horse. <gasps> I want and you. you had to go in the show ring and gallop around the barrels and do the barrel racing. Yeah. But of course we got the most craziest one. Yeah. And um, I rode it first. Ooh. I don't know why. Cause God's trying to tell you, you can handle crazy. Okay, and? But um, she kept bolting off with me. And did you handle it? Yes. But I'm like, Gabby, you can get on her. And then I just sat in the little room, and then I watched Gabby ride her so calm. She was so calm. Aw, that makes me so and sad. I got, and then I refused to do the barrel racing thingy. Wow, this is like real life. So, do you feel bad that Gabby rides your horse and trains him up for you, or do you feel happy that you're going to have an amazing horse? You do really feel happy? I, I don't know if I believe you. Are you like, I know Sophie is sad that she's not riding Finn. She wants to ride Finn, right? She loves him. And she's sad that she's not, but you know you're going to ride him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I feel sad now. This, this vlog okay. took, a, took a turn for the sad. We posted some videos from our photo shoot the other day. Like last night, I posted a couple of them. And um, people are all upset that Sophie wasn't standing with her boy who's acting crazy when we went outside. It was snowing, there was wind, and so Sam took him. And Chino was like, holy crap. And Chino was like, He's never mm, been this in that is area not area fun. Yeah. No, and, he's never been in that area Yeah, before. and his you ears were perked forward, which was great. But Sophie was holding Storm because Storm was so reliable and easy. And I was holding nobody because I got nobody. And that's okay because I don't know if my heart can have anybody ever again after Stella. But people don't understand that love, uh, loving a horse does not always mean riding a horse. Like you can have a better bond and better love just on the ground. You don't have to ride a horse to create a bond, to be the owner, to love that horse. <laughs> Maybe I was blind on you forever while I tried to find Someone that could be my great love Right in front of me, I didn't realize you were my dream So you took me by surprise, oh yeah I 
believe that someone made this prayer show for me in honor of Stella. Like, I can't believe it. Like, I never thought I'd ever be at a time in life where anybody would make me something to make me feel comforted in a time when I was sad. Like, it's just been amazing to me. What? I what, hear, student? I could hear everything you said in... I was making a video, yeah. I was making... She filmed it three times. Yeah, I suck it. At, at making videos. Do you want to try it, Sophie? No. You want to try it? No. It's, it's so she comfy. It's hero. like the softest thing. And the I colors... I have, because I went in your room and I threw it on me. I know, it's warm, too. It actually is warm. It is warm? Yeah, it is warm. I think you're just wearing long sleeves. Yeah, but no, it makes it's like a hug. It literally is like a hug, and it kind of fits past my butt, which I love. That blood. <sighs> All right, no. So today, Sophie is wearing mauve. What color is that? Lavender. Lavender, Lavender. Well, and, and red um, or no, chocolate. No, I don't know what color is on and her then, face. And then I'm wearing blood mauve too. and lavender is the same. Blood. It's not even blood. I don't even know where it came from. Okay, and Gabby is wearing sorbet. Sorbet. My best. Black scrunchie that matches. Painted Dreams um, bracelet. Bracelet. Yeah. Rubber God. lace bracelet. Yeah, and um, she'd be flexing. Oh, Mom. Um, I know where, yeah. I know where and, the blood came from. Wait, pink My socks. little itty bitty pink, cut that I just pink. got today. I don't know where I came from. The same thing happened to I me. I got a cut on my finger and it got all over Finn. I was just pink playing socks. with slime. Helen, it okay, Gabby. Pink you are socks. interrupting our amazing conversation. Pink. To Socks. They're pink. The brand pink. They're, that's why. Did you get cut? No. So let us shine. Let Do us not? have some time on the vlog, Gabby. Let Do it be about us. Let's just that's, throw Gabby outside. Then we can have some quiet time. time. Wait, right there above my finger. That's the. They're still the in there. Where I cut out? my finger open. Anyway, we're just headed down in a few minutes to feed lunch. Then we gotta rush back. I have so much work today to do today. If I could spend this whole entire day just working, it would be amazing, but I can't because we have horses. And when you have horses, yeah, you can't do anything else. Going. We just finished homeschool. We are reading a book about the Civil War. It is so good. I cannot wait to finish it so we can move on. But one thing I've noticed is that I hardly have time to read anymore. I used to read like probably four books a month. And now that we have the horses, I'm so busy all the time, I never read. But I think I have a solution for that. So, um, I've seen this a million times on a different, on a million and different YouTube videos and I've never really gotten into it because I love reading my books. But like I said, I have no time. But I finally took the leap and I downloaded audiobooks, you guys. Can you see it? I downloaded audiobooks. So, if you guys don't know, audiobooks is a big website. It has over 150,000 different books in it, and it reads the book too. And I was thinking, like, with our whole barn situation, when we're doing chores, we could be down down at the barn and I could play it on my phone and we could listen to our book together and because reading is learning or when we're driving to the barn because we spend so many hours driving to the barn we could listen to the book together we've done it with podcasts in the past before and it kind of will bring us together as a family reading the same book together and it will help with our homeschool and I just am really excited about it I've never used it before but apparently when you sign up which I am doing right now you get two free books and you get a free trial two free books you don't have to buy anything until you decide if you like it and i thought it would be really fun if we did it together and we read the same book so i was thinking for all the women because you get to choose two i was thinking that i would read the wives it's called the wives i don't know if you can see it it says imagine that your husband has two other wives like do not imagine that <laughs> you've never met the other wives and none of you know each other and because of this unconventional arrangement you can see your husband only one day every week but you love him so much that you don't care yeah that would never happen for me or at least that's what you've told yourself but one day while you're doing laundry you find a scrap of paper in his pocket an appointment reminder for a woman named Hannah and you just know that it's another of his wives so you thought you were fine with your arrangement but you can't help yourself so you track her down and under false pretenses you strike up a friendship Hannah has no idea who you really are and then Hannah starts showing up to your coffee dates 
with telltale bruises and you realize she's being abused by her husband, who of course is your husband too, but you've never known him to be violent ever. So who exactly is your husband and how far would you go to find the truth? Would you risk your own life? And who is the mysterious third wife? I was thinking that that's a book that we could read together like as a community, as a group. Do you guys, I, I don't think it's, it's good for them. Ah, so, oh, it's fine for me yeah, if there's I mean, action in it. Yeah, if there's action in it, I mean, Gabby is ready there's to fight. Fighting. Yeah, good. that's right up her. I mean, she's I reading don't Twilight. Think it's good for me. No, not good for you. So I think, I, like I think Twilight. we should pick another book to read with like the younger people, a horse book or whatever you guys are thinking. So if you are interested and you guys want to do this together, it would be so fun. Um, put a link below for you to sign up so that we're all together and we can read together and try it out and see what it's like for free, just for free. We don't have to, um, we don't have to buy them or, or sign up unless I love it. Like if I love it, I will. But, um, yeah, you guys want to try it? Link below. The kids are going up to the house and I said, don't go without taking something because I have to sweep. And Gabby's like, I am not carrying a bag of garbage unless I DIY it. All right, let's see, Gabby. What is your DIY project of the day? Dad has to go get hay today. So, this, you cut poles. So this is the garbage. We throw all of our garbage in old grain bags. All right, so she's measured her purse size there. Guys. So that all this work just to carry it up to the garbage bin. I made a snow heart. Oh, I love it. For Stella. Aw. Right, here she goes. She did it. Dun da da da. DIY girl. Hey, that's such a good title for a YouTube channel. DIY girl. There's probably already one out there. DIY Lauren, I think one. What about DIY girl? I'm not sure. Look! Why did she... All right. Look right now. Okay. I'm gonna shove this in me. You uh -huh. see it? Now you stop. <laughs> I know, don't rip it anymore. All right. All right, so we are at the barn. We're like not early, but we're, I mean, we're not late, but we're not early. And I want to show you guys something. Like, this is crazy to me. A lot of times when we buy horses, we change their names. I'm so glad we did not change Chino's name. And I'm going to show you why. I didn't explain. Come on, Chino. I just told everybody how amazing you are. Come on. The horse always comes to us. Meet me halfway, she says. How come when I tell Gabby to meet me halfway, she says, no, it's always my way. <laughs> Here he comes. Like, you must meet me halfway. <laughs> yeah, he loves his girls. He's like, wow, I haven't seen you in two days. Mm -hmm. I miss you. Are you really my girl? Yeah. Come on, handsome. Like yeah, she said, meet me halfway. <laughs> He said, okay. You butt. This is what happens when you get friends in the field. Oh, she won. Good boy. Good boy. Is that a cow in there? Or another horse? Is there another horse in there? There's a cow in there. That cow is right close to them though. They like cows. He likes cows. Look at you guys. We get one and we bring two home. See that blonde thing back there? It's a cow. Oh, Lily, that is so rude. I'm videoing here. Oh my gosh. Hi, Gino. No, you think he- fits him better. I have to poke a hole in this because all the subscribers are freaking no, out. All yeah. you have to do is do this. It's fine. But it's low on his nose. Look at it. Hello, handsome. Oh, boy. oh look at you. Some people think I'm 50. He's like, yeah, you think you're tall? Look at me. <laughs> you are. He's taller than you. Oh, look at him. He looked at you. Hi. Hi, he said. <laughs> Shayla's here. All right, this is where the race is on. 
Hi, Stormy boy. Where's my fin? So I've lowered your grain a little because you've been gaining weight. Oh, uh, another cut? Just dirt. Just dirt. How do you get dirt on your dirt. face? Just dirt. You're hmm? so tall. Way down here. Oh, you wanna know what dad said? Is my boy. You wanna know what dad said? What did dad say? I gotta get Finn ready. He has like an hour and a half. All right, get going. So Hurry up. He doesn't need to get ready. Be really careful picking his feet because of that. Storm, you'll be looking chubby. Actually, he doesn't look that bad. You don't look too bad. All right, so Gabby's trying it on. Yeah, Chino's being. Better ride this out of him. Hey! Behave. I like it. Does it do up? It's really big. It actually looks good on him because it's so thick. Enough. Yeah, it's big. It's perfect. All right, we'll buy that one. Brandon had it. So I'll get dad to, I'll get dad to uh, put the name tag on it. It has to be straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna ask Brandon to do it because straight is not your thing. Although I love his hair, I love his hair. So we went to buy him a leather halter the other day. Remember I told you guys? And we couldn't find one that she liked. And then Brandon came and he's like, oh, I have one in my, Locker and it yeah, brand new with the tags on he bought it at the Royal and listen. I have no food for you So stop getting pushy with me And yeah, it is this brand Heard bound and It uh, is now Gabby's new halter and so Sam's can put the Thing on it that we bought I actually really like it because it's wide so it like suits him not skinny and narrow I've never actually ever seen this horse grouchy before. And he's grouchy, he even like hey. did that. Like, you better stop, dude. He had his grain. That is the problem, Gabby. No, he always does that. Look at my bit warmer. Like, literally, it just fits. I molded it around the bit. Those are the things that I got at the Royal, and it's nice and hot, keeping the bit warm. And Gabby put reins on her new bridle. And where are they? I think they're a perfect match. Pretty close. 